Mr. Spendy by Kathleen Smith, illustrated by Susan by Susan Reed. Everyone liked Mr. Spendy. He was always happy and smiling, and he had lots of friends. As everyone liked him, Mr. Spendy, he liked everyone else as well. Whenever he had money, he used to go out to the shops and buy sweets and ice cream, and and which he shared with all his friends, and they had a wonderful time. Mr. Spendy lived in a very nice street in a very nice town and next door to Mr. Spendy lived a gentleman called Mr. Tibley. Mr. Tibley was a very nice gentleman too, but not quite so you gentleman as Mr. Spendy. One sunny, one sunny day, in just as hour, Mr. Spendy was closing his garden, his garden gate, which was next to his garden. He was going to the shop to buy himself a nice box of chocolate. He was just leaving when he met a taxi waiting for Mr. Spendy. Mr. Spendy was curious. He looked out at the taxi. She was inside. Hello, said Mr. Spendy. Are you leaving? Smiled Mr. Tibley. We're not going for two. We're going for two days and summer holiday, and then they were happy and smiling all over the. And then Mr. Spendy went up to the shops by himself for some chocolate. The the other one smiled and said to Mr. Spendy goodbye to Mr. Spendy as well. As Mr. Tibley gone away, someone else came to his house. Why are you so sad? Tired and hurt, said Mr. So Mr. Spendy. So Mr. Spendy said, Wow, he looked at the strange man. This man looked at him after and then went to, to his house. Mr. Tibley was the person, but Mr. Spendy didn't know. Silly Mr. Spendy, you would be a silly. And said Mr. Tibler. Mr. Spendy was quite a little bit confused as he went to the markets. Waiting there at the tree and then the tree was next to Mr. Spendy. Mr. Spendy told why he was silly, but could can't talk, think why he was silly. So he taught and taught all day, and taught all taught, and then he taught all over, and he couldn't think why he was silly. Two weeks later, Mr. Spendy was very confused why he was sick. 
He was waiting for Mr. Tiddler to arrive home, but not coming when the taxi came back. Mr. Spender looked at the taxi, and the taxi was in the taxi was Mr. Tiddler. I would. He went back into his house. Mr. Spendy called out to him, Mr. Tibbler, said Mr. Spendy. What? said Mr. Tibbler. I, I want to see you at my house today, please. And then, said Mr. Spendy, Mr. Tibbler came back to his house. Mr. Spendy explained all of it. And then Mr. Tibbler was a bit happy to see him. But then, smiling and blushing, Mr. Mr. Spendy had forgotten his man ma manners and then said to him and then realised he had to have to get his manners and then he made Mr. Tibbler a nice cup of tea and then they enjoyed all the time and explained why Mr. Spendy was silly so very pleasedly Mr. Tibbler said Who's, I'll tell you why I call you silly to Mr. Spendy he said and then waiting until Mr. Spendy drank his cup of tea and Mr. Tibbler drank his cup of tea as well. I'll tell you why I said to you, silly, because you're spending your money all up. Mr. Spendy looked mournfully at Mr. Tibbler. Why, yes, I am spending too much. So Mr. Spendy and Mr. Tibbler, and then they both had a wonderful time explaining. You see, why, why I called you silly, but it's better to go to the highway and spend your money so you can come on holiday with me, said Mr. Tibbler. And Mr. Spendy said, Oh, I say, I didn't know you were just so, so. Did you, did Dad, to, like, go on holiday with your family? said Mr. Spendy. Oh, yes, said Mr. Tibbler to Mr. Spendy. Mr. Spendy said, Yes, I'll do that. I say that. So Mr. Spendy to Mr. Tibbler, and they all had some very good replies to Mr. Tibbler. Well, you are very completely, very, a very gentle man, Mr. Spendy. So Mr. Tibbler, Mr. Tibbler said to Mr. Spendy, tell me. Said Mr. Spendy, I say, why do you always go on holiday? And next time you come, I'll come with you on holiday. Said Mr. Spendy, and then they both had very good manners. So Mr. Sp so I would had very good manners to all your may me you. Are very kind, Mr. Spendy, and you can get anything. And when you spend your money, you get this book right here. My hand, I got one. And then Mr. Tibbler sold it to Mr. Spendy, and Mr. Spendy was happy, so he can go there by like tomorrow or today or next week. And then 
Mr. Tibble explains more. You have to get all these books until you can come here in with me. The park of holidays. Yes, said Mr. Tibbler. But I really think they say, Mr. Tibbler said to Mr. Spendy, I say I didn't know anything like that before, said Mr. Spendy to Mr. Tibbler. Oh, that's correct, Mr. Spendy, said Mr. Tibbler. Good me, now you can go and get your half, your one dollar in my pocket to the building manor. Of course I have one bill, said Mr. Spendy to Mr. Tipler. Of course you do. Why not, said Mr. Tipler. How very happy. And then he brought out the money in his pocket. So, now, oh, that's a lot of money still. You can never let it go on holiday now will one work. So, Mr. Tibbler to Mr. Spendy. How I say, so Mr. Spendy, I really liked to get one of these bills like you. And then, Mr. Spendy went. Mr. Spendy went to the shops and got himself those books and Mr. Tibbler said, from now on, I won't call you silly Mr. Spendy. Now I'm going to call you Spendy Mr. Spendy. And then Mr. Spendy smiled and Mr. Tibb smiled. And then they had a wonderful day and Mr. Spendy went to the taxi. But then he went on holiday and then Mr. Tibbler said goodbye to Mr. Spendy and then they waved goodbye and then that's good. Did Mr. Spendy have a wonderful time? And he did.